Hello, and welcome to another episode of Smart Sex, Smart Love. This is a series that I'm trying to help educate people about smart sex and about smart love. And today, I've titled the video, Your Anus Doesn't Have a Sexual Orientation. And this is a really important thing to understand because I see so many straight men that come into my office that enjoy receiving anal sex. And they worry. They worry about whether this is maybe that they're gay, maybe that they're bi, because they, they've equated anal sex and receiving anal sex as something that's um, related to sexual orientation. Now, some of these men sometimes will actually try to tell their female partners, and their female partners either aren't interested, have a disgust response, see them as less of a man, or, um, or experiencing shame around it for themselves. Then the man feels shame himself and, and worries about further judgment or makes up in his head that he's being judged when the woman doesn't really understand what he wants. There's so many mixed ways that people do this. And it's so complicated in trying to talk about it that some men will actually go and meet other men to have anal sex, to be penetrated. It's not about their interest in the man. It's about their interest in receiving anal sex. And so that even further complicates things and makes them think they might be gay. So they come into my office and they've actually maybe gone to a well-intended therapist who has helped them um, come to terms with the fact they must be gay. And they'll come into my office and say, if I'm gay, help me be gay. Um, and I will say to them, look, as a licensed therapist and a certified sex therapist, I'm here to tell you that your anus doesn't have a sexual orientation. It doesn't know whether it's gay, it doesn't know whether it's straight, it doesn't know whether it's bi. What it knows is that it likes receiving pleasure, period, that's it. So when I can calm him down, I will then suggest that he bring in his spouse or his female partner and that I try to work with her and them as a couple in engaging in this sexual practice that's very enjoyable for him. And the first time I did this, I was able to bring a, a, a man brought in his, his girlfriend, his wife, and um, she um, was you know, disgusted, she didn't want to do it. There's actually a term for this, it's called pegging. And they call it pegging in the straight community because she, the woman wears a strap on and she then penetrates her boyfriend, her husband, her male partner. And um, so I told, there are also many books about this as well. I actually talk about it in my book, Is My Husband Gay, Straight or Bi? I have an entire chapter in here because it's so prevalent in my practice of men coming in thinking they're gay. If I can convince her, and I was able to convince this woman to read some good books on anal sex and really understand how to, and both of them, for them both to understand and realize what this is and how to have healthy, safe anal sex, um, that they may find it enjoyable. And if they don't, they can stop. Um, and so they did. This one couple did, and they came back in a couple weeks, and, and the woman said, I have to tell you, I've never felt so dominant. I've never felt so uh, lubricated and so aroused in my entire time with him in this in this way other than from maybe the beginning. And uh, it was so arousing to me, I was able to make him my bitch, she'll even say. And you can look over at him, he's like this. That's right, you know? And so I guess I'm here to tell you that, first of all, your anus doesn't have a sexual orientation. Sexual practices are not always, in fact, mostly not related to your sexual orientation. And that why not give it a try? Um, and why not give each other the chance to engage in some sexual practices that your partner wants that maybe you don't want initially, but eventually you might find you do. So that's my tip for the day for Smart Sex, Smart Love, and I'll see you next time.